on because I want to talk to you about some considerations that online businesses need to take before offering scholarships to marginalized people. Now, in terms of online business and the evolving business world, we're now becoming more conscious of not only the beautiful gifts that we're offering into the world um, and offering the beautiful services that we have to offer what we're here to actually do but how our businesses uh, impact and contribute to the world on a wider scale as well and part of that is understanding that there are people who are marginalized and oppressed in the world so asking the question as business owners how can we uh, contribute to positive social change how can we be equitable towards these marginalized communities um, and one way we can be equitable is by offering scholarships to marginalized communities now the thing is it's not just a simple case of going asking yourself uh, you know I want to be equitable so what can I do oh I can do a scholarship and then offering those scholarships and that's the end of the story that's not quite how it works because uh, there is potential to cause harm to those communities if you haven't considered some of these things that I'm going to talk about um, in a moment now um, the I'm going to present them as questions or considerations for you so some of these questions are the very first one is is this scholarship something that those marginalized communities and marginalized groups are asking for is it something that they are considering is it something they actually want the next thing is is my particular service or business culturally safe for those marginalized groups of people to come into um, do you know about cultural safety do you know what that means do you know what that uh, it means to be culturally safe um, another thing you can be asking yourself is are you is your business built in a way that it's accessible to um, people with different uh, with, with different disabilities uh, physical needs is your business built in a way that can accommodate for those or what about people who are neurodivergent are you able to have your business deliver your gifts and your services in a way that uh, caters for the neurodivergencies as well and another one on my list is uh, is your business using inclusive language do you know what inclusive language is are you using uh, gender inclusive language are you using culturally inclusive language next one is are my business spaces prepared so in terms of your business space itself so you have your scholarships and you're inviting people into them um, do you have safety nets for those marginalized people to come into that uh, do you have policies and guidelines and systems and procedures in place to protect them from discrimination um, in those spaces have you set those up uh, because a lot of the times marginalized people can come into spaces and there can be uh, discrimination casual racism there can be microaggressions if you're not sure what microaggressions are it's when something is seemingly seems very innocent to ask a marginalized person but actually in fact it is quite harmful or damaging to ask those things um, and also there are things like dog whistles where uh, the person who is doing the dog whistle will say something or do something in order to trigger a marginalized person because they both understand what that particular word phrase or action really means and what it's about whereas everyone else in the community or in that particular group or space don't understand that so those things happen uh, so have you got those safety nets have you got those protections in place for those marginalized people who potentially are your scholarship recipients uh, another question you can ask yourself is is a scholarship the best way that i can be equitable is it the best way that i can be inclusive and if not are there actually better ways is there ways that i can do it in a way that is more uh, meaningful in a way that creates a greater social um, impact in a positive way and the last one that i'm going to share with you now this isn't an exhaustive list but this is a list that you can consider and that is 
Um, are you actually sharing your scholarship in a way that is respectful and in a way that's not going to cause shame or um, harm to marginalised communities? So after you've gone through these particular questions, um, and if you don't know the answer to some of them, if you're not sure about some of these terms, that's a good indicator that maybe you're not quite ready to offer scholarships just yet, but that doesn't mean you can't become ready. So there are a few reasons why I'm asking you if you are considering offering scholarships to, to, to look at these questions and questions like this. And the first reason is, is for the safety of those marginalized people. As business owners, we are responsible for keeping them safe. If we're bringing them into our spaces, um, we are responsible for making sure they're safe in those spaces. Number two, um, I want you to be able to know that when you are offering these scholarships, they are actually contributing to positive social change and they are actually making impact in those communities and in the world uh, on, you know, like on a, on a greater level. And number three, I want you to make sure that you're in good intentions with offering scholarships and wanting to be equitable and accessible is actually translating into being received in the way that you intend. So when you are sharing these scholarships and delivering these scholarships, uh, that the good intention is actually received in terms of the good experience the marginalized person is having through those particular scholarships and not they coming into it with you having good intention but you unintentionally harming them along the way so those are a couple of the reasons why it's really really important to have these considerations and like i said there are just so many more now um, if you are an online business and you are considering or you have been offering scholarships uh, to Aboriginal people. Now I'm actually focusing specifically on Aboriginal people because I am offering a free webinar next Thursday and it is on how to offer scholarships with integrity to Aboriginal people. And the reason I'm focusing specifically on Aboriginal people is number one, I am an Aboriginal woman. So I am a Warawa Aboriginal uh, woman, a Warawa Noonga Aboriginal woman. Sorry, I was half reading a comment um, when I did that. And I have been offered scholarships in the past and what I have found is that I was really excited to be able to accept or receive these scholarships um, because I wouldn't have had the ability to access some of these beautiful um, services or organisations had I not been offered a scholarship. However, when I went into those spaces, what I noticed is those spaces weren't ready for me. They weren't uh, culturally safe for me. And I have walked away from many of those spaces being um, with, with a level of trauma from those spaces. And that's not something that I want for the Aboriginal community. And with my own experience and knowledge around this and my knowledge with uh, Aboriginal culture, I can now do something more to make sure it doesn't continue to happen. So that's why I'm offering this scholarship. Uh, I'm not offering a scholarship, I'm offering this webinar. So I'm offering this webinar. It is next Thursday, which is the 17th of November. It will be a one hour webinar on Zoom um, and it will be at 11 a.m. Australian Western Standard Time. It will be 1 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time or 2 p.m. Australian Eastern Daylight Time. Um, so if you have any questions or anything please feel free to pop them in the comments I can see hi Jody. I can see you're already in there let me have a quickly read what you've um, said uh, Louise when you talk about scholarships does that include partial scholarships similar to sliding scale pricing yes it absolutely does mean um, partial scholarships it could mean things like sponsorships um, anything where uh, essentially part of the payment for that per person participating in that space is is sponsored or paid for by another space another person another entity um, that kind of thing so absolutely partial scholarships are included in this as well the same principles will apply that um, the webinar will be addressing so 
If you are interested in registering for the webinar, the link to it is in the description. And like I said, if you have any more questions, Jody, if you have got any more questions, quickly pop it in um, the comments box and I'll hang around for just a little bit just to wait to see if you've got any questions. But other than that, um, I'm hoping you're having a great day today.